All of the X-Series cameras from Insta360 generally have the same form factor, a single quarter 20 mount at the bottom of an elongated body. Now this is great for putting it on the end of an invisible selfie stick, but not so great when it comes to mounting it on a chest strap. It kind of sticks out and it puts the mass of the camera further away from the body, which can cause shaky footage despite the pretty amazing flow state stabilization, since the moment of inertia of the whole system is just larger. But in this video, I'll share my solution to this issue and I'll show you how I made my X3 more stable, more comfortable to wear, and critically, I'll show you how I'm getting better quality footage. Okay, so this is this is basically it. Now my thought was to create something that could hold the camera on the chest horizontally and closer to the body to reduce the moment of inertia and ultimately to stabilize the camera against the body for less shaky footage. Now there is one product on the market that I found that kind of addresses this, but it's more of a cage that surrounds the whole camera and it was designed for the One X2. It's kind of pricey and I'm not entirely sure it would work with the new X3 since the buttons are now on the side of the camera body. It's also a little bit bulky and I wanted to create a more minimal solution. So I sketched up a design and made a quick 3D model which I sent to the printer and promptly tested. Now this here is actually the fifth iteration as I've been making minor tweaks to improve the strength and rigidity, but essentially it's well, I mean, it's an L bracket, let's be honest. On one end, you have a slot for mounting the camera via a quarter 20 thumb screw. And on the top side, you have standard GoPro fingers to mount to a chesty strap. Now, it's not quite as simple as just printing an arbitrary bracket and calling it a day. I also wanted to consider the mounting position as well as the internal forces within the mount. Now, the form factor of the X3 is such that when mounted horizontally, the lens is way off to one end of the camera. Now, if the mount centered the camera on the body, then the lens would, in my opinion, be too far off to one side and the footage might look asymmetrical. In other words, you might actually see that the camera is biased to one side in the footage, which isn't ideal. But on the other hand, if the mount were designed to center the lens on the body, then the camera would have to be mounted so far to one side that it might actually feel off balance when you wore it. So this mount strikes a balance between those two extremes in that the lens is centered enough so that the footage looks essentially symmetrical, but it's also close enough to center it on the body so that it doesn't feel weird when you wear it. Now, if this bothers you, you should also consider the fact that a traditional GoPro is generally center mounted, but the lens is always slightly off to one side and you never really notice. Also, older chesty straps like the one I have here are also actually slightly asymmetrical due to the buckle. So it's not an exact science when it comes to chest mounting an action camera. And I think that as long as it's comfortable to wear and the footage looks good, it's a valid option. Now again, the biggest benefit of mounting the camera horizontally is that you can place the camera so much closer to your body. It doesn't stick way out, and since it's not putting such a large moment on the chest strap, it's actually more stable when the trail gets rough, and it actually feels lighter to wear as well. Now, the minimal design also allows access to the buttons on the side, as well as the screen, and the thumb screw makes adjusting the camera angle pretty easy. Now, you might be wondering if you have to do anything special with the settings if you wanna use single lens 4K mode with the camera mounted horizontally. Now, what's nice about the X3, and actually the One X2, is that you can flip the aspect ratio from 16 by 9 to 9 by 16 and then just turn the camera horizontally. So for me, I just made a custom preset in the X3 that has a 9 by 16 aspect ratio with the field of view set to ultra wide. Now this is nice because it prevents you from having to rotate a bunch of footage in post and your clips are basically ready to go right off of the SD card. Now, it's not a perfect solution. There are still some things to sort out like easier access to the buttons, maybe revisiting the mounting orientation and finding the right balance of stiffness and bulk. Now you might notice that when it's mounted, there's the slightest amount of flex since the weight of the camera is supported at essentially the end of a long cantilever. But it definitely doesn't affect the footage in any noticeable way. While riding, the camera is held firmly in place and I've had no reason to believe that it'll break under the weight of the camera when riding down chunky terrain. Okay, so if you made it this far into the video, you're probably wondering where you can get your own sweet horizontal mount for your One X2 or your new X3. So I actually wasn't really planning to turn this into a product, but many people have asked about it after I posted a clip on Instagram. So I figured I'd make some available for anyone who wants to try one out for themselves. Now at the moment, which is September, 2022, I'm literally just 3D printing these on my home printer and sending them out to people who wanna try it. Now for the time being, if you do order one, you'll get a black 3D printed PLA mount with a thumb screw included. So it should be everything you need to attach your Insta360 
X-Series camera to a chest mount. Now, of course, this is a work in progress and any feedback from all of you is greatly appreciated. Just let us know down in the comments what your thoughts are, or even better, what your experience has been like if you've already got one. I'm happy to incorporate any design changes that will improve the mount, and ultimately my goal is just to improve your footage and to improve the user experience with the Insta360 X-Series cameras. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.